We need some work. We need some work. But they ain't put their foot in it. I mean, unfortunately for this one, it doesn't taste like my mother's. One thing about my people, you either make it right or you don't make it at all. Hi, my name is Leanna Blount. Hey guys, my name is D. Elise. Hi, my name is Brandy. And we're trying each other's vegan, vegan soul food. food. I've been vegan for 10 years. So I've been vegan since 2016. You may know me on Instagram as Black Vegan Vegan. I executed the thought in 2020 during the pandemic. We had celebrities like Styles P and Lizzo and many more celebrities shout us out. Technically, I'm not a vegan. I'm actually a pescatarian, but I was a vegan in the past. I feel like what gives food its soul is the love that's put into it. The energy and the story that is behind the creation of the food. What makes soul food soul food is obvious the soul. It's not the measuring, it's the heart said it's enough. So today I brought my famous jackfruit chicharron. I brought my delicious potato salad, arroz con gandules, it's Spanish rice with pigeon peas, and I brought my baked macaroni and cheese. And I also got a little cilantro lime sauce for the jackfruit chicharron that's gonna pull everything together. I'm black and Puerto Rican, obviously. My business name is Black Rican Vegan, hello. I wanted to incorporate both my cultures on the plate. I'm gonna win because I'm just the best. I know that the competitors are gonna love it. So I am seeing mac and cheese. There is some um, potato salad. It smells good. I smell the rice. You smell the, the spice in the rice. What is this? I don't eat this. So the potato salad, I may not get to that. With all due respect, I don't like potato salad across the board. It's good. I mean, it's rice. Rice is good. It's decent. Well, what I will say about this rice is that it tastes like maybe they use some play on like a chicken broth, even though it's not chicken broth, but it tastes like there's some type of chicken bouillon or something that's in there. Mac and cheese. It's not bad. I can't tell what type of cheese this is. I'm very particular about cheese, so that's my challenge with this mac and cheese. It's good. I eat this. It's good, but I can taste that coconut taste afterwards, so that's the thing. But it's a good cheese. This, the noodles are a little mushier than I would like them to be, but now I'm going to go on for the potato salad. I have a mom who has like set my standard for potato salad, so I mean, unfortunately for this one, it doesn't taste like my mother's. Um, I'm not touching that. I would not do you no justice, even if this is good, because it's going to be nasty to me. Mm. So I think this is this might be jackfruit. These meat chunks don't do it for me. Like, I probably wouldn't eat them again. But it's well seasoned. It has a good texture. It's not bad. It's just it's like an extra ingredient that she used, I guess, a little bit too much of. Just need to wash it down with something. <laughs> the rice. <laughs> you got to wash it down with the rice. I told you the rice was decent. I think the rice in this was like the best thing on this plate. This has to be spicy. If it's not, I'm, I'm going to be disappointed. You got that. Whoever did this sauce here, you got that. And I could be, it could be a little hotter. I'd probably give this plate a five. Vegan soul food vibes, but didn't really hit the mark. I could, I'll give you a good seven. So on the plate, there is a lentil meatball with a mushroom gravy. There's a cashew-based macaroni and cheese. There's also some collard greens and some candy yams that have no added sugar. I'm gonna win today because I honor the ingredient. And so I think that's really gonna be my secret weapon in winning today. Okay, it's a light smell. Okay, okay, okay. We got some uh, meatballs. I think this is mac and cheese over here. And we have some sweet potato. Visually, everything, everything looks, looks dry. dry. The mac and cheese look a little dry. Though. Not a little dry, it looks all the way dry. Okay, so the meatball is definitely made out of beans. And the consistency is very soft. It's decent. I think it's seasoned pretty well. I'm not mad at it. <laughs> this mac, okay. I don't know if this is gluten-free noodles or brown rice noodles. I can taste a lot of mustard in the mac. I'm not a fan. Huh, baby, that's not it. Maybe somebody likes that flavor. I don't know what that flavor was that punched me in the back of the throat. Yeah, I'm not crazy about it. God bless you, though, for, for effort. I like that they put some bell peppers in the greens. I kind of do the same when I make mine. So you know what? Let me try this with the, the vegan meatball. She's a little scared. <laughs> The greens are not spicy, but I taste a lot of vinegar. They're okay, but the vinegar is kind of throwing me off. When I eat greens, like I want, I want to eat something that's like smoky and savory and 
not vinegary. There's a spice that she uses, that they use in the macaroni. They like the spice, I don't like the spice. That's, that's number two. Mama told me never be rude. If you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. It looked like they boiled the sweet potato and then added the brown sugar and butter. So I'm, I'm kind of scared to try it. Oh, no, no, no. This was an interesting dish. I'm not mad at the meatball, but everything else, I think it, it could have been done better. One to 10, I'm gonna say a five. This meal is not for me, maybe for you. brought today vegan fried chicken and some sweet potato fries. It's spicy. This is spicy. Only reason why I say it should be because I'm Haitian. So our spice meter is through the roof. I'm very confident I made the best dish. Do you hear me? That's what I'm gonna win. Okay, okay. This looks good. Initially what I'm seeing is a plate on a fried chicken using cauliflower. When I look at this, I don't think that soul food comes to mind, but... I don't know if I would call this a soul food plate. This one's spicy. For me, I'm not crazy about spicy food. I think the breading, I'm sure if it was like right out of the pan, it probably would have stayed on. But it falling off doesn't bother me, and it's super well seasoned. I kind of wish it was crispier, but I'm not going to judge it off the crust. I'm going to judge it off the taste. And for the taste, I don't think it's too bad. It's like this lingering, like peppery taste, which is really nice. And you can tell that this was probably like marinated beforehand in some type of like brine. The cauliflower has a really nice texture and like flavor that goes through it. It's not just sitting on top of it. This is solid. It's kind of soggy. I don't think I'm too crazy about it. I like sweet potatoes, but you, you gotta have it while it's hot, especially for fries. And all of them, they're dead. They taste good. They taste like sweet potato fries. There's nothing on them, though. Like, there's not any cinnamon or anything extra to them, but I don't think it's anything spectacular. But it's okay. I would have given it, like, some cinnamon or, like, some ginger. They definitely didn't put their foot in it, but they just something up. But they didn't put their foot in it. On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna say it's maybe like a 5.5. I would give this a 7.5. Hi, I'm Chef Elisa Reynolds, host of Searching for Soul Food. And today, I'm gonna find out what vegan dish puts the soul in soul food, if any. I am not vegan, but I have a lot of vegan tendencies, and I'm vegan on Thursdays and Saturdays. I'm expecting to taste things that my grandmother would make if she did not eat meat. Maybe some vegan mac and cheese, perhaps. Some sweet potatoes. You know what makes soul food soul food? The wrists, the love, the tradition. My food is my soul. Every time I cook, I, put, I dive all the way in. I put my foot in it, my feet, my hands, all of it. The thing about vegan dishes and my people and soul food is we don't want to know it's vegan, okay? So if your vegan dishes can pass the black people test, you made it. Ooh. I feel some soul in this. I feel some soul. Flavors there. The peas are a little bit undercooked. I can be truthful about that. I like the flavoring in the yellow rice. Mm. Very tasty. The tastes are kind of blending together. I can't name a particular one, but it tastes pretty much like mama. And this is vegan mac and cheese with no cheese. Let's see. Not bad. And let's check out this mock chicken. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. I gotta do this one more time. That was good. Makes you want to go vegan. They're on their way. Mm-hmm. They're on their way. Do you feel like they're an experienced vegan chef or not? Are you trying to get me in trouble? Overall plate. Six. The chicken is an eight, it would have been a 10 if the dipping sauce was a little bit more soulful and complimentary. That does not mean the dipping sauce isn't delicious. Seven, fine, you get a seven. Damn, that's vegan. Well, it looks like we have some braised greens here, some sweet potato. We need some work, we need some work. It's a work in progress, and for some this is delicious, but not for me. So let's try the greens. They are sister and brother here I'm gonna play it. The greens are tender, and they're cooked properly. They're just very tart. These are pucker up greens. You eat them and you go Let's see what these uh, sweet potatoes talking about. 
Mm -hmm. What I like about it is it's not traditional in the fact that it has like an orange zest or something in it, which is fun. I'm not mad at it. It's some mac and cheese, I think. <coughs> Go back to the drawing board. No shade. We're doing threes. We're on three. Ooh. Oh, this smells good. This smells like it might be a vegan crab cake with sweet potato fries. This looks really good. Cauliflower, okay. Mm. A little bit too much batter, but it's on. The consistency is good. I just would have played down the batter a little bit, but tasty, it's very spicy. At first I thought it was a crab cake, but after I bite into it, it feels like, ah, duh, fish and chips. I'll give this a six, nope, five. Of course I won, I only win, and I'm gonna thank my mom and my uncle for giving me such, you know, talent to produce this gold with my hands, and shout out to my business, Black Ricky Vegan. All right, so I didn't win today. It's cool though, because at the end of the day, I'm happy with what I showed up with, and congratulations to the person who took the prize. Nah. <laughs> I'm a winner in my eyes, all the time. However, today, this wasn't the best plate. Yeah, thank you for the opportunity. That your food. It was actually a celebrity chef. Oh. All I do is ah. win, oh. win, oh. win, yes. win, win, yes. win, win, yes. win, congratulations. Thank you so much. Come on. <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Oh my God, I just met Chef Alisa. And check out this apron. This is fire. I, I, I was about to curse, I'm sorry. I was so <laughs> grateful to meet her, I didn't know I was gonna meet her. And I'm happy that my dish was the winner, like thank you. If you're looking for more soul food, join me on my journey searching for soul food. Streaming now on Hulu. Stay moisturized.